Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range. Today I'm going to talk about my Skill 20 volt reciprocating saw. Now this particular saw is a brushed saw. I know that um, a lot of people prefer to have a brushless tool. Um, Skill just recently came out with its own line of 20 volt tools, I think probably a year or so ago. And some of them uh, do come with brushless options, but I believe that the reciprocating saw only comes as a brushed option. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this particular one is brushed. Um, now you can get these 20 volt saws uh, as with a battery, with a two amp hour battery. This is a four amp hour battery that I have here. Um, you can get it with a two amp hour battery, or you can get it as a tool only, or you can do what I did and get it get it as a combo kit with a drill and or other tools. I got mine with a uh, as a four tool kit, and it came with two two amp hour batteries, and I got the um, four amp hour battery separate. Now let's talk about the battery really quick. Skill does offer several different batteries. Um, most commonly the two amp hour. This is a four amp hour. There's also a five amp hour. And then uh, there's a two amp hour with a portable charger uh, USB station in it. And I think even a two and a, two and a half amp hour battery. I'm not sure if that one comes with the USB port or not. Uh, none of mine have it. Uh, they do come with fuel gauges, um, four bar fuel gauge, it lights up um, so you can tell if it's quarter, half, three quarter, or full. Um, so that's kind of nice. And they're fairly reasonably priced too compared to some of the other brands. Now the only place that I know you can get these tools as of right now is you can get them from uh, Amazon, which is where I got mine, or you can get them from uh, do it best. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, anyway, I got mine from Amazon and that's where most people are going to get theirs from. So, talking about the saw, it's a fairly decent saw. It does not have an adjustable um, shoe. I think that's what this is called, is the shoe. It's not adjustable, but it does pivot. Um, so, it does pivot. Um, now, I have used this saw quite a bit lately. I, I trimmed the tree in the back. I cut about uh, three or four branches off of it and then cut them into a few smaller pieces. And then I also took this saw to the farm and cut down a bunch of little bitty trees. Um, I probably cut down a couple dozen of them. I, I took um, some shears or loppers or whatever you call them, cut the tops of the trees off. Their trees are about, you know, anywhere from this big to about that big around. Um, persimmon trees and uh, basically I cut the tops off of them and uh, on the thicker ones that I couldn't get the loppers on to um, I took the reciprocating saw and cut the bases off try to get them as flat as I could with the ground so that they wouldn't kill the lawnmowers when we were mowing the grass and it worked pretty good um, I probably <coughs> probably made about two dozen or so cuts with it um, some bigger cuts than others and it took the four amp hour battery down to about half which isn't bad so um, all the work that I was going to do for the day it didn't even take the whole battery which is pretty good. As for the saw um, it just has some basic features you have a lock button here um, so if you push in this way it's locked push the other way it's unlocked has a variable speed trigger so start off slow goes faster so that's kind of cool it does have an LED light in the end uh, in case you're sawing in the dark and it does have a toolless design for uh, blade installation and removal you just turn it so it's gonna be kind of hard to show around the camera, but basically you take your saw, you stick it in here, and then you turn. And 
and it locks into place. This is a skill um, all purpose blade. So it can, I think it can be used for both wood and metal. It's not the most ideal for either, uh, but it did work pretty good on the wood. And I also used the um, original blade that came with it, which is probably um, only about that long. But it did work quite well. Um, I didn't have to change, well, I did change blades once um, to this blade because this was a longer blade. But uh, I imagine I probably wouldn't have had to change blades that fast. Um, I, you know, the original blade might have worked um, through all two dozen or so trees. Anyway, the skill 20 volt, well, anything skill. Um, 20 volt or even 12 volt, I think, you can get a up to five year warranty. I think it's like a three year um, automatically and then if you submit for the five year warranty within 30 days of purchase, you'll get a five year warranty and then all batteries are two year warranty. So that's pretty good. Um, five year warranty on a power tool, a cordless power tool is pretty good. Uh, most manufacturers offer like two year, three year. Um, Skill was the first that I really noticed that had a five year warranty. I, I think some other ones do have five year warranties as well. And then, you know, some have like a three year warranty on the battery. But um, as far as I'm concerned, five years and two years on the battery is a pretty excellent uh, warranty. I don't even know if I'll keep this for that long um, because I would like to have more Makita tools in the future. Um, it's just that Makita tools are like twice as expensive. Like uh, I was going to get a Makita and for the one with the the two batteries and the charger and the case, it was going to be like a hundred dollars or so more than this four tool combo kit from Skill. And I got three extra tools. You know, I got two batteries, a charger, four tools, um, and each of the tools came with their own blade or bit, um, depending on what tool it was. So, um, and it was like 180 bucks for all of that. And uh, they're pretty decent tools. They're not the best. You know, they're not Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt, you know, whatever. But uh, they work, and they work pretty well. Um, they get the job done. Maybe not as good as the, those other brands, but they get the job done. So anyway, that is the Skill 20 volt um, reciprocating saw. Uh, this is a brushed tool, like I said before. I do not believe they offer a reciprocating saw as a brushless option as of right now, but they probably will in the future. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe to my channel. That was Redneck Off the Range, and until next time, be safe.